There was a school board that was dismissed. Another school board was put in place. Now apparently we're going back to the original school board. In all of this, the schools are still not performing well. There are 20,000 students in the Bridgeport Public Schools. Their scores, some of the lowest in the state. Only 54% graduate high school. But the biggest battle in the Board of Education is the board itself. But those marchers were a crowd gathered in front of City Hall today to show once again how upset they are about what happened here. Last July, the school board voted to disband itself. It was a six to three vote. The state took over and three board members, the three who voted against it, were kicked off. Zauda Baraka is one of them. No, I didn't. I've never heard of anything like it. it. It was shocking. The city used a state statute to do it, but Baraka says she was elected by voters. It was an end run around democracy. The Supreme Court agreed, saying the state did not comply with the statute's regulations. And today, the General Assembly chose not to fight that. Frankly, there ought to be a great deal of thought about under what circumstances do you decide to shun the voters of a city um, and uh, hand over control of uh, uh, their schools in this case or it could be any other institution in the state. Rob Traber is a teacher and vice president of the teachers union. He says the reason that was given for the takeover, that the board was dysfunctional, does not hold water. How can you be dysfunctional when you have a two-thirds vote control of the vote? They controlled six out of the nine votes. The mayor supported the takeover and said as recently as last week that he thinks the new board is doing a better job. He did not return our calls for comment, but folks here say the problems here have not been fixed. The schools are still overcrowded and still underfunded. Well, I don't think children benefit from this. I don't think children learn the right lesson about democracy in our city. We're told that original school board should now be reinstated, but there will have to be a special election for four of the seats. On the scene in Bridgeport, Annie Rourke, News 8.